These programmes are delivered through what we call blended delivery. And this means that we have four residentials that the students come onto campus to in semester one and another four re residentials on campus in semester two. The residentials typically take place on Thursday afternoons and all day Fridays and accommodation for the students on the Thursday nights is in the hotel adjacent to the campus if they wish to take up on that. Semester one covers three modules. They are leadership and management, employment law and finance, and governance and compliance for quality. Semester two also covers three modules. They are strategic organisational dynamics and change for leaders, research methods, and critical thinking and decision making. Students undertaking the MSc in any of our programmes take these six modules in year one and in year two they progress and undertake a 30 credit single module which is a research dissertation. The preparation for that module will have taken way in the research methods module in stage one. So in that you'll have designed your project plan and come in the following September to execute that and write it up. The entry requirements for this course is a minimum 2-2 degree, however candidates from cognate professional areas, so public sector, health sector, social care, may have vast experience already in the sector and they should consider applying for recognised prior learning and that's a special application on our website. We've progression opportunities mapped out within the programme. These can apply to any of our candidates, but in particular students that may feel unsure about returning to education or have been out of education for a long time, they may like to commence with the 30 credit certificate. And that means taking the modules that I've listed for semester one initially. And if they have enjoyed that, they may look to extend their learning into a postgraduate diploma and take the modules listed for semester two. So that brings to a total of 60 credits. And then if they get brave at the end of that, they might like to progress on to the master's and that's doing one additional year in which you undertake a dissertation. Students often wonder about how much time the course takes and it varies from person to person and based on the experience behind the applicant. However, our course design is very flexible. The majority of the students coming on our programmes are working full time and we do realise that. The residentials are spaced at three or four week intervals and this allows for I suppose immersion and digestion of the topics that we are uh, introducing. In between the residentials, the students are also supported online. However, the majority of the course content online is asynchronous. And what this means is videos are uploaded or reading material is uploaded, but the students can dip in and out of that in their own time, depending on their work schedule. The students are also supported in some of the modules by online tutorials. These aren't compulsory, but they're there to support students that might have questions in between the residentials that are working away independently on their assignments and might like to come in and ask questions around that. And they are scheduled usually at lunchtime hours or in the evening or at night time to appreciate that a lot of these students are out working and very busy. This course tends to appeal to people working in the social care sector, the healthcare sector and the public care sector who are seeking, whether now or later in the future, progressing their career into management grades or taking leadership roles within their organisation and they're not necessarily the same thing. We have students from public and private sector on the programme. We have students working in acute settings and community settings. We have students working in NGO and, and sector 28 and 29 areas as well. So it's very vast and it makes for a very rich classroom dynamic and very good discussions. All of the modules collectively really feed into that layered learning of developing a sound knowledge base in the students and developing and building the competence that's necessary to become confident leaders and managers into the future.